guys it's Peggy from the paper bumblebee welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do just a little haul um, I've got some books and I have been well, saving up to show you guys every time I buy like one or two books or maybe some cards or whatever and then I put it aside and then I make just a little small haul video for you guys so I wanted to share with you guys what I've got uh, I think it's like in the last two, three, four weeks maybe. I've got loads of stuff so I would love to do big hauls every time but I don't have any more space so just small little hauls. So I wanted to share with you guys what I got. Um, most of this stuff is at a thrift store. So let me show you. The one find I got yesterday, I was so, 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 so happy. This is one of my childhood memories, Pinocchio, a big, big, chunky book. I think I still do owe my copy as well, somewhere, I don't know where, but I saw this in one of, oh no, I got this in a little mini library. don't know if you know, at home you've got these little mini uh, free libraries and I got that in one of those libraries and I was so so happy uh, this is so much of my childhood memory coming back and I just love it I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this it's just I just love it it's like Pinocchio wants to become a real little boy so really cute and I was really happy to have found this and fun fact, I am going to make my own little free library at home. I, I bought myself a little cupboard and I'm going to paint it and make it all nice and then put it up outside with some books. And hopefully that will be a good thing and it will work out for me. It is in the Netherlands, so... You also do, if you live in, in uh, the years of A, you've got an app just check it up um, I'm just thinking what it's called uh, I'm not sure what it's called now something about uh, let me think what is it called uh, it's called little free library app if I'm not mistaken if you download that you get not all of the little free libraries at home but most of them you have to register and if you don't register they're not showing up on the app that's how it works in the Netherlands in the Netherlands there are also there is also an app for that and I don't know if you're interested let me know and I can tell you what it is so next what I got is just a little old book I'm not sure I think this was from the thrift store and I just love it it is really nice and old and you can see it is vintage let me see what if there is a date there is no date no, no date so I'm not sure how old this is but I I just love it so I got that then another find in one of those little um, libraries from home free libraries I don't know what you call it free libraries is this little old book I saw the cover and I just loved it and it is falling apart for the one piece of the book was in the top of the library and this was on the bottom and I saw this and I thought okay I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna use the cover and then I found this and the top so I thought okay so I'm gonna put it in I've got a whole book but as you can see it's falling apart and I just love this look at this also I think it's really vintage you can feed it on the paper nice and thick and vintage yellowy so so cute see there's a date on this uh, also no date that I can see but again 
I think this is a really a nice find and I don't think this is in the right order. Let me see, this is the back. So maybe this comes in here. Yeah. This will be like this. So but no date, but you can see it's vintage and I was really happy to find this as well. So then at the thrift store some stuff. I found this. And I thought this was so cool. It's really in beautiful paper you can I don't know if you can see wait I haven't got my light on I just put my lights on on there it's really I think it's homemade paper I thought this is so amazing so beautiful pictures as well and I thought I'm gonna take that with I think I paid a euro or something so I was happy with this or 40 cents not sure so happy with this nice find then I've got one of those little um, golden spine little books and it's just an old one from the Netherlands it's about a little shop so I thought I'd take that one that's not all but I just love collecting these and maybe one day I'm gonna make them into little junk journals and then I found this amazing, beautiful map. It's huge. And it's from, well, Exploring Dali, Lijiang, and Shangri-La. So the map on the other side. And it folds open. And it's really thick paper as well. So this is double. And on the back side, you also have a map. So really happy. Can't show you guys, but this is huge and it's beautiful. So I found that. Really happy with that. Sorry, guys, making a noise. So got that. Then some other stuff I found. Found these rub-off little stickers. Transfer, transfer little alphabet stickers 15 cents each I thought take some they've got like a stack like this I thought just take some I'm not sure if they still work so took some of those then I got these amazing stamps I just love the peacock but I love the little scribbles and stuff and then an acrylic block and like a little label -y things and some butterflies and a beautiful flower. So I paid two euros for that. So I was happy with this as well. Then I got just an old pattern and it's still sealed. So I don't know how old this is, but I thought just take it home and I'm not sure. I think the pattern paper is white I love it when the pattern paper is like yellowish but I'm still happy then I got one little doily love the shape love it for on the spine or something like that so I've got that love that doilies then I've got loads and loads of cards you guys beautiful cards Look at this. They're like 50 cents each except for this one. This is really a special one. Let me show you guys. Look at this. I came home and I thought, oh, these are amazing. They're just beautiful playing cards and they move. I hope you can see that. So I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to use these. I think I'm just going to play with these beautiful birds on the these, I have never seen cards like this, so really happy with this find. This is the back side. 3D bird cards. It's the little box. So really happy with this find. Love this. Then I've got some more birds. Water birds, sea birds and garden birds. And they are all just amazing. These blue ones are the water birds playing cards with beautiful images of birds. And love these. These are the joker cards. 
So I'm really happy with these. So those are the water birds. And I've got the sea and the coastal birds. And they are like mustardy on the back. So amazing. And I'm not sure if I will be using these again. I don't know why I buy these if I'm not going to use them. And like a purplish reddish color are the garden birds. Whoops. So amazing. Love them. And they also say the name in, in Latin and just English waxwing, great spotted woodpecker, a jay, little owl. So love these. Really happy with these. I wish I could find something like this in mushrooms. Oh my word, I would love those. You guys know I love my mushrooms. Then I got these, and these are some bird cards as well. Now these are two decks I bought. These are, this is like a game, but also birds and stuff. Uh, this looks okay. It's about birds where you can find them. Uh, let me see. Yeah, here we go with the birds. I don't know what that is. So, love these. Love using these in my. Oh, look at this ice bird. Beautiful. I think I will be using these in my junk journals. They are quite new. That's a shame. But still loving these. And then I also got these, and it said um, fashion cards, and I thought, oh yes, great. But they are just normal cards. They are beautiful on the back, but not what I was expecting, but still happy with those. Then I got another card deck from a little place here in the south called Stolwake beautiful little place and look at the amount of cards you guys it is huge and it's all about the history so you bought look at this isn't that amazing oh, I love it this is really from back in the 1979 1877 1900s 1800s ah, love it great great find really beautiful and a load I love these old ones 1915 1950 1975 look at this it's like a little school So amazing cards I found, I think. I love these cards, they are really great. And it looks like they were given, or you could buy them, at a local supermarket. Yeah, I don't know when. Doesn't say. But at Stallwake, they uh, sold or gave them away. Maybe when they were 100 years old. Oh, there are 25 uh, special card decks in one. So that's why there's so many. So, well, I'm happy I found these. So, gorgeous find. Love those. So these were all the card decks I found. And I found two of these. I love these, using these for ephemera and stuff. So two, to uh, not tobacco, but um, cigar wooden boxes. Two of them. And then the last found, you guys, look at this gorgeous book. Let me zoom you out just a little bit. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love these old books. Oh. My son had to do an internship for school at a 
uh, thrift store and he found this and he brought this home for me and I was no I was so happy so these are all little um, old magazines in one and this is from let me see if there's a date so I was really happy when he brought this to me no, no date ah, maybe on the magazines itself this is just this is so, it's falling apart you guys but it's amazing old paper falling apart love it all stories and stuff so really happy with this find look how it's stained from age oh, love it so that was my last item for today from my haul look at it it's falling apart love it so this was what I found I think that's it I wanted to show you guys what I bought as well from Amazon and this you guys maybe you know this is beeswax so I wanted to make I saw some people on internet on YouTube making like vaccine paper so I want to try that with this but this is a huge bag so I think that would be enough to play with so that's it for today I hope you liked my little haul and hope to see you again next time till next time keep safe bye bye you guys bye